Christ and of the Holy Spirit be with you. Beloved of God, the priest Ignatius, chosen and confirmed, is conducted here to be ordained Bishop of Newton. Explain to us more fully what is your profession of faith and your belief concerning the incarnation of the Son and Word of God who exists in one apostasy. I believe in one God and three distinct persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Father is unbegotten and without any originating principle. There was nothing before him. He was all and always is God. I proclaim that the Son is an eternal and infinite principle, a principle deriving from one who is without a principle. With this principle and therefore with the Son, I associate the Holy Spirit, since they both alike have their being from the Father, that is the Son and the Holy Spirit, the one by generation and the other by procession. I confess also that the Word of God co-eternal with the Father before all time, incomprehensible and infinite, condescended to mankind and took upon himself our fallen and humble nature from the pure and virginal body of the stainless and undefiled virgin alone, in order that in his mercy he might bestow salvation and grace upon the whole human race. Who he who takes away the sins of the world was not subject to death, but he accepted it in order to deliver us from the all-devouring hand of death and to bring us to his Father by means of his own blood. And death which struck his human body was overcome by his divine power, and from his dominion where... God, the Christian martyrs, shows and confirmed that here to be ordained I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible. And I believe in his only begotten Son, begotten of him without change and without time, being of one essence with him by whom all things were made. And I believe in the Holy Spirit who proceeds from the same Father and with him is glorified and co-eternal. I believe these doctrines and all traditions taught and explained by the one Catholic and Apostolic Church concerning God and the things of God. Furthermore, I confess the one person in the Word made flesh, and I believe and proclaim that Christ is one and the same in two natures after his incarnation, preserving all things which are of these two natures and proceeding from them. As for Our Lady the Mary the Theotokos, I confess and proclaim that she gave birth, a real and true birth, in the flesh to Christ our God, one of the Holy Trinity. May she be to me a helper and protector and defender all the days of my life. Amen. The grace of God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ and of the Holy Spirit will be with you enlightening you, strengthening you, and endowing you with wisdom all the days of your life. The candidate is presented with the Caliphson, which is Command Master in Greek to be Bishop of Newton. Unto you, O Master, O many years in grief, three times. And now they sing the traditional hymn to Isaiah, of, sing of Isaiah speaking of the incarnation of the Word of God and also includes that of the holy martyrs. This is always sung at the ordination of a deacon, priest, or of a bishop. It also happens to be sung at, wedding. at weddings as well. 
and this has a particularly beautiful melody and mode. The patriarch has taken up his place in front of the holy table from where the candidate, as he is led around, will kiss his hand and the uh, epigonation that is on the, his... The candidate also is kissing the four points of the altar. That's correct, yeah. That is Father Haddad from Atlanta singing. The words are, all you holy martyrs who have fought the good fight and received your crown, intercede for us with the Lord that he may have mercy on our soul. Glory be to you, O Christ God, glory of the apostles and joy of the martyrs who taught the trinity of persons and the oneness of essence. O Isaiah, dance with joy. For the Virgin has conceived in her womb and given birth to a son who is Emmanuel, both God and man. One of his names is Orient. Therefore we magnify him and sing to the glory of the Virgin. This is often referred to as a kind of liturgical dance. It is family. called the Dance of Isaiah. And of course, movement or going in a circle in the church, a procession is also a form of praise of God. It's also a sign of the fact that the sacrament that is being performed is an indelible sacrament, that it does, cannot be taken away, what grace is being conferred here. note the book of the Gospels is placed on the head of a bishop when he is ordained, which is different from priests or deacons. Of course, that he is getting the plenitude of all the priestly grace. He forms a cross with his arms and places his head upon the altar. Yes. And now they place the Gospel book over his head, and the patriarch will lay his hands upon him. The obvious meaning, of course, Christ.
which unexpected for the salvation of your people, for your name is blessed and your kingdom is glorified, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and always and forever and ever. directed to our to the almighty god especially to the holy spirit that all of the things that have been asked for the episcopal candidate in the prayer by the patriarch that they might come upon him in a very special way and this these prayers are joined in by the other clergy this is bishop john elias another one of the auxiliaries the senior auxiliary of the of the eparchy, bishop, and he is also a Salvatorian. That's right. This is a very solemn moment in the order of consecration when many people shed tears as the grace of the Holy Spirit is invoked at this point. It also includes the people who <laughs> You'll receive the signs of the Episcopal office as bishop, and you'll hear the cry, axios in Greek, the approval, which means worthy, worthy. It is the, also represents from the ancient times the acclamation of the faithful, or the agreement of the faithful to the election and consecration of the bishop. It's also used for deacons and for priests when they are ordained. It shows the corporate nature of the church is very strong. That's right. In the Eastern tradition, the faithful, the clergy, and the bishops together acknowledge the worthiness of the candidate. They're removing the symbols of his priesthood. The stole, the stole in the East, you'll notice, is together and 